Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Mike. It is Wednesday, the 13th of May, and this is your daily recap. And it's not been a fun or easy day here in the markets. Um, you know, we go back and, I, you know, I want you guys to, to look at, let's go, we'll come back to a second. We go back and yesterday we had the big move down late and then we gapped up. And again, this morning, I told you, did not like the markets. We gapped up. We got an initial sell. Um, Powell talking. We ramped up again. And then we started selling off. And then at lunchtime, we had David Tepper come on and he just got nasty on the market and that kind of finished us off. And we've been sitting here drifting since basically noon, little afternoon for almost the entire day since 12.15 and just took out the lows. And here we are in the 50% retracement. So one of the things I want you guys to consider here is if you've had a rough day or two day twos, is consider here, what did you miss? You know, we've talked about that the market lacked participation. And on Monday night, we said we were, you know, Monday kept saying we're up on very little participation. And then on yesterday morning, we gapped up and I said, careful. We've talked about being careful. The market didn't feel right yesterday. And then you got this big down move yesterday that took out the range. Okay, this was your warning candle. We talked about it. This was your, hey, take notice candle. The gap up this morning got everybody off guard, but eventually they came in, they sold it. And what we've done is we went from the top of the range, which is just above the 61.8% retracement right at the 294 level, all the way now to the bottom in the 50% retracement at this 278.67, we're just pennies off of it. So we've done it in two days. We've talked for a while now that this market might be entering an extended period of chop. So what do we know moving forward from here? We know this, we know we've come to a spot where the market wants to play. How do we know this? When we pushed up, the 50% retracement was resistance, and then we danced around it for a couple of sessions, popped above it, lost it, and since we retook it back here on April 22nd, it's been, it's been support every time we came into it. Now the question is here going into tomorrow, does this hold or do we go further? If we go further, you look for a move maybe into the 50 day here, or even down to the 38.2% retracement at 264.41. Right now, we just don't know. If this holds, then you look to play your favorite names and to pick them back up to the top of the channel, right? Volume today is elevated. We are above yesterday's volume. We're above the last eight day sessions volume. And with a half an hour to go, we're already well over 100 million shares, likely to close out in the 125 to 130 million share range, but nowhere's near the massive selling volume we had back in here. Bottom line is, you know, Mar oops, what did I do? Bottom line is the market could use some pulling in here, reset some of the setups. What that means is if this holds, we can watch names. Apple has now pulled all the way back to the eight day. Here it is sitting here today on the eight day moving average. This is a spot to watch it tomorrow. It was very extended off of it. It's been one of the stronger names. If it holds, it's good. Microsoft, let's just open this up. Microsoft was weaker today, pulled all the way to the 21 day. Again, if you like this name, and I still do long term, this is a good place to start looking at it. Okay. Other names that have been strong, NVIDIA in this pullback here, right? Pull back all the way into the eight day, just below it and held. Again, was extended at all time highs, has earnings next week. Ultimately held the breakout, held this little breakout area, so still strong. AMD, another name they've loved not holding in good here, right? This is a name to be a little bit more cautious with. As much as they love this name on Monday, they've, they've engulfed this whole range now in two days and we broke the 21 day. Maybe we want, I would love it to come down and test the 50 day and see how it reacts. Get outside of tech, you have names like Walmart acting very strong, briefly pushed into that gap today before pulling out, trying to go. Chewy been watching for a couple of days. You've had flow, has retaken the eight day and even though it couldn't go today, holding above it. Uh, Square, even though not acting fabulous, pulled back to the eight day and holding it here this morning after a big volume in it the last couple of days. Not ready to go, but not falling apart, uh, you know, for what it's worth. Today, I lost a little bit of money on, some on a few Square calls. I made most of my money on Apple calls and trading with um, TZA, the IWM short. Toss was funky today. I'm going to restall it after the close. I had a hard time getting fills today for what it's worth. So, you know, lots of different things to do to keep your eyes on here as we go forward. We have Smile Direct Club tonight. That thing has a 40, almost a 50% short interest. We'll see if it wants to go, especially if it gets above this area, right? So you can push this right to here. If it takes above here, it's got gap to fill still. 
So definitely worth keeping your eyes on it as it pushes up. So today, that'll be an interesting one. Piton, despite everything, keeps pushing. Another strong day came in, even after David Tepper really beat on it and bought back up for what it's worth. Um, Citron keeps saying that this thing is a massive short, doesn't want to break. Zoom gave in some nice trades today. Nice move up, couldn't hold, but a doji inside candle type look to it and green on the day. So bottom lines, pockets of strength remain out there. This market could use a little bit of a dip. You know, if you've played this right, you have a lot of cash available and you're relaxed here and you can do what you need to do. Don't over trade in a market like this, nice and easy. And we'll see where we go from here. Okay, let's watch the close, see if we can make some money. Everybody have a great evening and I'll catch you tomorrow.